enough of her cooking either. Her name is Trige Frazier. And after appearing on Cutthroat Kitchen and Guy's Grocery Games, the Atlanta resident is back, this time competing on Food Network Star. And she's here this morning whipping up a tasty treat in our Good Day Kitchen. And I've been peeking at the ingredients. I'm sorry, because they look so delicious. Before we get to that, I, one of the things I really love to do when I talk to chefs mm -hmm. is kind of get the genesis of where they started. And most chefs started when they were this high. Yes, you know, it's funny. I did start when I was younger, but I really got the passion for it in my teens. Mm -hmm. Maybe when I was 17 or 18. Honestly, I wanted to be a brain surgeon. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I wanted to be a brain surgeon, but it's like, I don't want to live my whole life in school. So I'm like, what am I going to do? Le Cordon Bleu commercial came on. That's what I have to That's do. That's a beautiful story. You're yes. putting your brain to good use, yes. by the way. And I've read somewhere that you're, you're considered a whimsical chef. You know, what does yes. that mean? A whimsical, it's just magical. It's food fusion in a nutshell. That's pretty much what it is. And it's where you take everyday foods and you create something unusual with them. Or you take <laughs> ingredients that aren't necessarily supposed to go together and you make something amazing out of it. That would be crab deviled eggs because be I would not have thought eggs. to put these together. So yes. what do we have here? All right, so we have the crab deviled eggs. What do you want to do the first thing I want to talk about is I know you notice I don't have a pot up here yeah you, did you boil them before no the thing about it is a lot of people have a hard time peeling eggs you know you get the dings in them you can't get that perfectly smooth eggs. go to your local farmers market your local um, Whole Foods mm -hmm. and get pre-boiled eggs I didn't even know they made pre-boiled eggs. Cage free, and you can get the cage free pre-boiled eggs. This way, you're having an event, you can go ahead and get that mm -hmm. done Lovely. quickly. You take it, you're gonna wanna just take it and cut it in half, as so. Mm -hmm. You're gonna wanna get that eggshell out of the middle, okay? And I already have some here. Okay. You're gonna pour that in here. You're also gonna take your little mayo, you know, your sriracha. You could use dried sriracha mixture or, oh, or wet. Right there, yeah. yep. You wanna have your mixture. All right, you put your little pink, I like to use pink Himalayan sea salt. I've never even heard that. Yes, it's awesome. Is it just a different flavor? Or different? It's a different texture. It's a coarser salt, and it's so much healthier for you than Ida. That's right. Ida. Yes. Then you want to use a sweet pickled relish. Of course. This is going to add the yes. sweet, and it's going to counterbalance with your heat, mm -hmm. and you're going to mix it up. So I already have that mix here. It's like you've done television before. You well. know, <laughs> right? It's like I've done this before. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty it's crazy. Good at this. And so next, you know, you're going to take your local lump crab meat. I love to use the lump. The lump crab meat is the best because you're going to get that texture. Because yes. you got to think about it, the deviled eggs are really creamy, mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna take that and you're gonna just mix that. A little bit of lemon juice, all right. A little bit of uh, parsley. You're just gonna mix that together. Mm -hmm. So now you're done. You have your topping. You got your mixture, right? Uh -huh. You're gonna take your inside of your eggs, smooth these to the side. Okay. Okay. Derek, you catching all of this? Yeah. Are you catching it? Yeah. I move Derek, quick. Derek, yes, he's I going move very quick. fast. But you know what? It's okay because this is, I want to show you how convenient this is. People think, oh, deviled eggs, it takes so long. Right. And you no. did this in what, like two minutes? Two minutes. Yeah. Done. Now, this, you can be as giving as you want with this. Okay. You, meaning you can put as much crab mm -hmm. filling as you want. Okay. And you know, I love a good crab filling, okay? <laughs> I wanna make sure I have a lot of crab filling through and through. Now you have that crab in the middle, mm -hmm. okay? You're putting it right in the center. Some and may now want- Now while you're putting that in there, talk about your, your season on, on Food Network. Oh my far. goodness. I mean, that's intense. This is pr no pressure here. This is easy. Right, I'm that's so- That's intense. It's intense. The journey was amazing. Uh, the cast, amazing. It was challenging. You know, you go on these shows and you think, oh, I can do this. You know, I'm watching at home. I mean, who couldn't do this show? Sit and From talk to couch, people yeah, and cook fun. people. <laughs> Get on the show. My, my, my. When I, they, the twist and turn. Look at this video. I mean, it is just crazy. Wow. Everything that you think you know, just erase that out of your head because you know nothing. <laughs> I, oh, oh my gosh. I love this show. Well, first of all, as a, this is just the perfect show for foodies. First yes. of all, you get to see these beautiful plating to yes. these dishes that come out. And then you see what's actually going on with chefs. Yes. I mean, it, it's fantastic. It's amazing. And, and then you get to meet all these people. It was, I have to say it was one of the most challenging yet fun moments in my life. Oh, that's so beautiful. So great. Hey, look, while we're talking, she finished. Look done, done. And these beautiful greens here are called microgreens. You can get these from your local farmer's market or Whole Foods. And then boom, there you have it. Oh, that is Crab so Devil beautiful. Eggs. Yes. You are whimsical. Yes. Just like her hair, by the way. I don't think she's had the same hairstyle twice. I mean, yes. she can work the hair. I Elijah, have yeah, to keep good job. Your stylist. Thank you, stylist. <laughs> yes, Elijah. And I have to keep it together. Because I also have a catering company, and mm -hmm. I cater for a lot of large 
large events. Um, I also have a meal plan program, meal prep program. And the great thing is if you're coming through to the airport, stop at Blue Basket Cafe. There. I just did product placement. Very nice. <laughs> also, you have a heart for young people and being yes. healthy, young ladies in yes. particular. Oh, my goodness, yes. I really love to inspire the youth, especially young ladies. You know, my mother passed when I was younger. I had to raise my sisters and brothers, and I have two sisters. And, you know, out of my, sis my sisters and brothers, my sisters, I notice I have to really hone in on the most. And it's really just keeping them inspired and letting them know, listen, you can be cute. Yes. Okay? <laughs> I love and it. You, <laughs> you can cook great food, and you can just, or whatever it is you want to do, just go for it go hard and I just make sure that I let my family, my sisters and brothers, my youth just know, never give up. It's never going to be easy, but just don't give up. Fabulous. All right. <laughs> we want to thank the Food Network for helping and coordinating today's interview. For more information on Food Network Store, also try out this recipe at home. That was, uh, that's going to be one of my tries this year. <laughs> We've got the information.